bit of a good in the morning and the blue here. And I'm back with the blue review. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you be know about the future video. Now, in this video, it's going to be a different video. I am, I am joined by my friend, CVS. Hey there. And he is not only my friend, but he is also um, a caregiver. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to do an interview to, to get the caregiver's point of view. Okay. Um, caregiver. And so, uh, what? Um, for it to start off, yeah. what is the most um, asked question that you get asked? The most asked question that I get is, is it a hard job? Is it? Is it a hard job? I mean, it, it has its difficulties, but in the end, you know, get to know that these people are, are taken care of. That's all, it all makes it worth it. Yeah. Um, now, when I met you, mm -hmm. you were only 16, right? Yeah. Uh, um, the first time I asked you to take you to help me go to the mm -hmm. was that like out with were you over like, Oh, not like, at all. Not at all. Like, yeah, like, how did you make you feel? It made me feel actually appreciated that, that you would trust me enough to help you out to be the restaurant. Yeah, because I know like a lot of people get go to scout me, like, you know, like, I'm white in my butt, or like, mm -hmm. like, I have them, like, pee or whatever, like, so. I look, the way I look at it is, y'all are, are just the same as us. If I was in your shoes, then I, I would really hope someone would care for me enough to do those things yeah. for me. What is the most hard, hardest, hardest thing that you, that you had to, uh, like, um, that look, look over when you came here with? That I had to look over? Yeah. Um. Like, um, like, what well, I mean, like, like, I know you had, like, principal or whatever, mm -hmm. like, what the hardest thing that you had to, like, not, not do it. But what? Like, what? You know, you know what I mean? Okay. Um. One of the hardest things is one of one of the people that you get close to because you do work with these people for quite some time. You know, doing their ADLs activity or daily living. You help feed them and are. I don't want to say like they're children, but they're like your best friends. So wh whenever one of them switches another, to another facility or passes away, yeah. it, that's probably the hardest part of this yeah. attachment. I know that like, when I move away, and like, I, I, I ain't seen you for what, two years? Yeah. Like, I'm like, where the hell did he go? <laughs> where the hell did he go? <laughs> and then, and then like, a week ago, you didn't talk to him. Like, oh, like, what the hell? Can, can just say, wait, what can oh, I say? Oh, what the hell? Oh. Um, but, like, is there any advice that you would give to my coming into the caregiver game. That's, that's shiny ever. Take it, <clears throat> take everything with a grain of salt. You have to keep in mind that as much as you like to do the things that you like to do and be treated the way that you like to be, they do too. They're, they're just because they're disabled does not mean that they're not people as well. Yeah. What would you say to people? Like, I know a lot of people forget, like, they do with the British. Mm -hmm. And they all may assume that they have a major with the village. What would you say to them people? I would say they are absolutely wrong. They are mental disabilities and physical disabilities are two different things. You could be paralyzed from the neck down and be one of the smartest people that you've ever met. Stephen Hawking, he was in a wheelchair as well, wasn't he? Yeah. And he was one of the smartest people ever. You, yeah. You are. You're disabled and you're one of the smartest guys that I know. Yeah. They say, uh, even after I have an mm -hmm. I have a form of autism. Oh. They call it Asperger's. Mm -hmm. But like, a lot of people don't know that. I wish that schools taught more about 
different birds. Like, like, for instance, they have a lot of like history credit in their like, like, like every American, like, they got a history credit in their like, experience. But what about the individual history? I completely like, you know I mean? I I like, agree. What, what they, they deserve not just recognition, mm -hmm. but uh, to get their understanding out there so people don't approach the situation. Like, like what more people feel like American with their abilities. We did not get rights until 1990. Oh my goodness, even I had no idea. And that was, and that was when Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton signed the ADA. That that gave us rights. But, uh, but they don't take that. They don't take that. Where do history come? Right. Mm. Uh, it's and sad. It is. That's sad. That's wrong on so many levels. It's. No, you, you guys just as much as, you guys belong in history just as much as the rest of them. I mean, it, you are a part of history. It is. Okay. Danny. Danny. <clears throat> what would you say to somebody with, uh, like, able boy put, uh, able boy put, um, because I know, like, a lot of times, People don't like the table. They they fear getting in a relationship with somebody with the picture with the disability because they are scared of what people would say. What okay. would you say to them? I would say stop that. Knock all that nonsense off. They are and more time. A lot of people I feel like. They look down on people with disabilities because they don't understand. They haven't spent the time with them that they need to. But like you said, they took it out of the history books in high school. There, there's nothing to fear. Just because someone needs a little extra help doesn't mean that there's something to be afraid of. Yeah. How would you, how would you suggest a change? Like how people view people with disabilities. How would you change that? That is a great question. Um, I would say, first off, don't get autism and disability, mental, physical disability awareness out there way more than it is right now. Yeah. Actually, much, much, much in the athlete so we should be able to find your way in my... Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, a lot of people don't know that, but, yeah. but like, like you said, autism. Autism is the most recognized disability, mm -hmm. but what people feel like is the <laughs> hundreds of different disabilities, not just not autism. So, why do you feel people are more focused, focused on autism than all of them? I feel like because they, like you said, they do automatically assume physical disability with mental disability. So they put you guys with physical disability just on the back burner to, yeah. to the ones that are actually able to do their own stuff just with mental disability. Yeah. And I believe that's 100% wrong. Yeah. Is there any, is there any last thing that you want to say to the people watching? I would say give them, give, give everybody you meet a chance, especially the ones that you don't think that you're ready for. They're, they're just like you, and you can make their day. Thank you. Thank well, you. well, I, I, I hope you guys found this video um, informal. Uh, if you like this, if you like more, more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Uh, just, just tell me, just tell me your support. Um, if you want merch, the link is in the description. And as always, be kind of a little. And remember, you are able. You See you next time, guys.